I think that said it all. Hello, I am Wanderer001, and this is my review of the Devoom Ditto. This particular uh, product was provided to me by the company to do a unbiased review for you, and that is what you're going to get. If you are like me, and you are either a YouTube person, or you have an office space, or you've been working from home, and you're looking for something to put on your desk to keep you entertained, this is what you're looking for. The Ditto itself has a pixel art screen, which you saw when I initially booted it up at the startup there, but the pixel art is only part of what this can do. It is actually a speaker and a very good speaker at that for what you're getting. So before we actually get into the fun of it, let's talk a little bit about the Ditto itself, the hardware. You are looking at a three and a half inch screen. It has a 10 watt Bluetooth speaker. So you will be able to connect this to your phone and use it to play music that way. It has a built in 3000 milliamp battery, which depending on what you do with it can last you about eight hours. And it takes four hours to charge said 3000 milliamp battery via over here on the side, the USB-C port, which you do get a cable from Devoom to charge. Over here, you can also see the micro, I'll bring that in a little closer, micro USB port and your on off switch. We're gonna come around to the back here because you'll notice this cutout. This cutout is actually so you get more bass from this little speaker uh, than you would from like an Echo Dot, which is just incredible. At the top, you do have, like I showed you before, the actual speaker. On the one side, there's nothing really to look at. And the front, this is where everything happens. What we're gonna do is pop it underneath and there you can see QR code to download the included app. And then you've got your little feet here. Aside from the product itself and the pixel art that you get, uh, this was one of the weird things, the unboxing experience for this. What I saw with other reviewers was very similar to what I did and I was, I was surprised at the amount of aesthetics that they put into this. So let's take a look at the actual unboxing of the Ditto. This is an unboxing or unpackaging of the Devoom Ditto. I normally don't do unboxing, but the packaging for this I, I kind of get now why people do unboxings every now and then. The packaging on this is very unique. It actually has its own little carrying case here. So this is a rubberized handle. It's super thick and it, it actually will let you carry this around. You'll notice that the case itself is colored the same as your Ditto. So if you got a different color variant, your box will be a different color as well. It is a very substantial and sturdy box. And if you come around to the back there, you've got your QR code to download the app and then pretty much what you can expect your Devoom Ditto to do. So let's actually kind of open this up and take our thing out. So here we go. Here is our Devoom. And I'll have to say that is rather hefty. You got some screen protectors on there right now, but it gives you an idea of what it can actually do. There's your speaker on the top and oops, I'm touching the nice tactile clicky keys there and then quickly micro SD on off and then your USB-C type port. All right, so that's the unboxing of that. We'll come over here so you can see those substantial handle holes. There is your insert for the Devoom, so you can take that out. And right on the back there, okay, so that's your cableage, so you do have a charging cable. And you get, oh, there's your inspection sticker in there. But you get some pixel art stickers, as well as the instruction manual. So that is everything that comes in the box for your Devoom Ditto. The carrying case itself, if you're not going to put your Devoom back in here, actually it looks like you could probably display something nicely there. It does have some writing right there. So, ultimate music player, that's kind of embedded on the thing itself, so it might not be a good for display, but you can definitely trek something around in here or use it for like a pseudo lunchbox almost. All right, so that was the unboxing. Now, now the actual fun part. We're gonna come up to the front here and these are very clicky mechanical keys and then you got a little 
Think of it almost like a pinball switch. Each of these does something depending on what screen you're on. You've got your plus and minus and your forward and back for volume and things of that nature. So what we're gonna do is we are going to turn this on again. And that startup screen is totally customizable from the application, which we'll talk about a little later. I'm gonna start you off with the most important thing. You'll notice that underneath here, there are bright white LED lights. If you're gonna be using this in a bedroom or someplace that uh, is dark or you don't wanna have those bright white LED lights, push and hold the M and they will turn off. You will thank me for that later, I assure you. If your screen is too bright and you wanna adjust that, you can click and hold the forward and back buttons and that will allow you to adjust the screen brightness. Now the eight hours that you get screen brightness wise, I tested it using everything at full blast. So that is eight hours with the screen at its absolute brightness and cycling through this every 30 seconds and I'll explain what this is in a moment. If we talk about our clicky keys here, I demonstrated the forward and back. Now if I hit plus or minus, very clicky. That is actually adjusting the Bluetooth volume on my phone. Your switch here is actually a selector switch, which right now we're not on anything that it would be able to select. We're gonna hit this bright key right there, or the sun key right there, and that toggles you through your different presets. This is the, the absolute off preset. By default, I have my preset starting with a rotation of the clock, current date and time, weather, and temperature. Selecting the move to the next one. This is a color phase, and this will make a little more sense when I show you the app a little later. So this is a color phase one, and this is a rotating collection of pixel arts that it thinks that you will enjoy. Here you can see that's a lightsaber-ish one right there, and we're gonna move along. This one is a Windows Media, so if I were to be playing music right now, this would be changing in, into all sorts of different things. In fact, I can do that very quickly. So there you go, that, that's what that looks like. Moving on to the next one. This is a programmable pixel art collection. So you can go in through the app and select specific people that you like and put their pixel art right there. Last but not least is the off. This is, the screen is off, but you can still play music. When you first start playing audio through this, you will get a description of who's actually playing. And again, that's either via Bluetooth or you can put something into that micro SD card right there and play it that way. So we're gonna turn our screen back on and I'm gonna hit the M and this is gonna bring us into the deviations that this thing can do because this, this really is like a catch-all device and it'll go away very quickly if you don't. First one is game. So if I select this, you have individual pixel art games that you can do and these are all accessible through the app as well. So here we have, this one's a Tetris one, so if you use the toggle to uh, select, you can select, and then obviously not too good at that particular game. Select again and we'll come across. This is actually a casino one, you can kind of hear it's doing dice or, or slots in the background. That one's a dice one. That's a magic eight ball. This one is a, a blocker game. So if you've ever played these way back when. So you've got pixel based games and there are a lot of, of other ones, so that was the blocker one. There's a Flappy Bird-esque one, snake, matching colors, all that fun, happy stuff, so we'll go back. Next is your coloring, so if I select this, you can start coloring. You would use your arrow keys here and then the select to fill in the color. So it's, it's neat premise that way. Here we go, we'll select this one. This is more of your features. So you've got scoreboard, stopwatch, decibel meter, timer, and then back. 
and, and all of it in this pixel art thing. And it did take me a while to figure out what all of these mean. It's actually easier to understand what these are through the application. So this one's a clock. So if you wanted to set the clock yourself, instead of having it rely on your Bluetooth via your phone, that's how you would do that. And last but not least is music. So you can select this either via Bluetooth or SD card just simply by selecting. And because this is a Bluetooth speaker, you, you can play music from any screen that you want. And let's, uh, let's get you an audio sample. So I'll move my mic a little closer. And as you saw, simply by toggling down the joystick, I paused the recording that I was listening to. So you can see this, this little device is super versatile and it's a nice little desk tchotchke to have. I will say that you can do so much more with the application. So let's actually take a look at what you can actually do with the app. Devoom Ditto app tries to be all things in one location to the point where you can actually get very confused as to what you're looking at when you're navigating this app. So it's kind of the feeling that I get for the Ditto itself where it's trying to be all things to all people. What we're looking at right here is the new pixel deviation page. Think of it this way, when you first start this up, it's letting you know, hey, these are artists and their designs that you can have show up on your Ditto or other Devoom products. So it, it right now is showing new, but notice at the top here, we have Galleria, Expert, and Groups. If we scroll over, there are different areas. Right now we are on the newest. We can go over to Follow, if we were following anybody. We can come over to a particular stylization, which in this case is Love. This is recommended based on things that you've looked at and or have added to your favorites. Skip over to characters where you can search for particular characters. There is a search up there. We'll get to that in a second. Seasons, emojis, patterns. I mean, it's, it's limitless the amount of things that you can scroll through. If you're like me and you're not really an artist, you can use other people's stuff on your Dboom. What we're gonna do is come over to expert and here this will show you particular members of the pixel art community and things that they have done. If you notice there's favorites and how many people have viewed it, if you click on that, you can send it to your ditto as well as you can add this person as somebody you'd like to follow. There's just, there's a lot going on in here. Come over to groups, right there you've got some groupings. Uh, and we can come over to search. Here you can see specific searches that I was running. I do wish that these would actually kind of clear themselves out as uh, you go along, but if we come over to Star Wars, and you saw I searched Star Wars several times, you get everything pixel art related to Star Wars, which is really cool. Uh, and you know, you can come over to users, and then you see top users for the word Star Wars. We're gonna go back. So that was the search function. Like I said, that was this page, which it brings us to automatically. And that is the landing page. Down here, you can, if we hit the plus sign, create your own. You can either do an animation, a design, or text editor. If I select design, you can draw your own pixel art. And like I said, I am not terribly uh, savvy when it comes to artistry in any way, shape, or form. Uh, you can scan your own, you, you pretty much, you know, if I come over here, I say I could do camera or I could do the Pixar community. So if you have something that you'd like to take a picture of and try and make it into some sort of art, you could. It's not gonna look the greatest because again, it's pixel art depending on the size dimensions and colorations of it. Uh, you can then save this or save it to your SD card. There's lots of functionality here. Uh, like I said, it's trying to be all things to everyone. 
we are gonna come over to the right, which is our messages. And this is not messages for your phone being pushed off to the DVOOM. This is messages as part of the DVOOM pixel art community. So you can see here, I haven't done anything. So I do not have any people who liked me. I don't have any people who've sent me comments. And I also do not have any followers. That's not bad. I just don't do that because I'm not artistic in that uh, fashion. Up here, you got your three dots. You can turn off anything that you don't wanna see. Last but not least, on the right-hand side, we come over to me. And this is your Devoom pixel art page. You can get a bunch of medals for doing lots of different things. Uh, I'm not going to go through that because, well, I'm not using the Devoom in that fashion. However, you'll notice that you can see likes, tickets. This is a weird, this one here, it's like a almost gambly, like every, every couple of days you can come in here and get points, and those points can be use, because here you can see that went up, to purchase uh, other Devoom products using spins that you get from there. The reason that I bring you to this page in particular, not to show you the local gallery, your uploads, or your favorites, but this is one location where you can add more Devoom devices. You can see your devices listed there. If I was connected to the Ditto right now, you would see that right there. But if you are connected to your Ditto and you come down to device settings, here's a lot of information that I wish I knew about ahead of time and didn't have to dig through all those menus to try and find. You can set your clock display to 24 hours, display song titles or anything that's coming across. So in my case, when I'm listening to podcasts, when you first start up, it will scroll the title across the front of the Devoom. Shake, shake uh, to adjust brightness. Eh, hit or miss if that actually works. Uh, so this will change the brightness when not in use. Energy saver mode will automatically hibernate if no activity is detected for five minutes. This is the one that I really care about, which is the change from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Remember, power on volume. This, this is very important because if you have your Devoom volume low and you power it back on, it's gonna go back to the default volume, which tends to be very, very high and can be a little startling, we'll say. Uh, startup logo, you can manipulate the startup logo right there. So if you don't like the one that starts up when you first start your Devoom, you can change that right there. Notification, startup power off, and connection sound, you can change that. Light intensity, so how bright is your Devoom when it first turns on and off, you can slide that around. And then auto power off, you can do 30, an hour, three hours, six hours, 12 hours, or never. By default, it is on never, but that is where you find the settings to really manipulate, change the way that the Ditto functions. And I really wish I knew where that was originally. Up here in the corner, this is your account information, not gonna be going into that. And we're gonna come back to the box in the middle because that's where you start things off. Next, we're gonna go to the left, which are things that actually involve the Ditto itself. Here we go, I have the Ditto in frame, and if I select Channels, this allows me to change, change the look and feel of particular screens here. The first one being a clock, so if I don't like the look of this one, I can change that, and you see it's reflected over there, you can change the colors. This also has a rotating screen of weather, temperature, and a calendar. Let me tell you, this is the screen that I leave this thing on the most, and there you go, that's the outside weather, and then it will flash to the temperature. The last icon here is actually kind of like a, a favorite, so I don't use that one as much. That will control the brightness. Like I said, this is the one I leave it on all the time, especially since I've been working from home a lot. I, I kind of like being able to see what day it is, what time it is, and the weather outside, even though I'm not going outside. Coming across to lighting, that's this one here. Um, you can change lots of aspects of this. I haven't found a real use for this, but it's there. Recommended, recommended. This will cycle through recommended pixel art things. And again, this is pre-programmed in there, so you can't really change anything. You'll notice that there were some Star Wars in there because you saw me doing a lot of Star Wars searching earlier. Visualization, this is, think about it, if you're playing something and you had those old audio visualizers in Microsoft Windows Media Player, th these are what these are. As sound goes through the Devoom, you'll see spikes. You can make your own if you want. Uh, again, not artistic enough to actually do that. Custom, these are things that I found and placed onto the Devoom itself. You'll notice that I was doing a Star Wars theme. There are other pages that you can do. So if you wanted to add more, what you would do is you click the plus sign and then you would search. So in my case, I come, I come back up to Star Wars here and I will just find one of the Star Wars things that I searched for 
And what we're gonna do is I'll add the Death Star. And there we go, the Death Star is saved. And then that will transfer over to the DVOOM itself. And it will rotate through these every 30 seconds, as you can see up here. And you can select the time to rotate through if you wanted to. You can also trash this entire tab and start over. Oh, so I have to upload it. I forgot to do that. So there you go. You can see it's uploading to the Ditto itself. And there we go. Now it's added to the, the cycling. And then if I wanted to create other ones, I would just come in here and do searches. So that's, that's really nice with the customization. And that's the end of the built-ins for that. And if I come over here, you can say on startup, where do you want it to go? Any one of your visualizations. I just, like I said, mainly use it on the clock. Down here at the bottom, if we come over to Discovery, this is where they pretty much threw everything else for the DVOOM. It can do a lot of other things that aren't by default displayed on the Ditto itself. They kind of throw in here design. You've got animation. So th those are those things that you can get to before. Games, all the games that you had access to on the DVOOM, it's the Ditto itself, you can get through here. You lose some of that tactile clickiness doing it from the smartphone itself, but you have the ability to do so. Pixel coloring, that's again built in. Planner, you can, daily planner, baby planner, child planner, uh, baby planner. They're, they're, like I said, they just throw so much stuff in here. Alarms, mixer, you've probably seen a lot of people do this one. It's interesting where you can kind of throw different instrument sounds in there. And then again, across the top, you actually have instrument sounds so really it's, it's it's a fun little toy that you can play with and then here we have more so that was mixer I can edit what icons I actually want to show up here and I can drag them down from the bottom here so any of these uh, things I'm gonna hit cancel if I wanted to drag up the letter editor or the pixel coloring or the radio there there's radio not the greatest in my opinion the few that I've tried looking for yeah you know, connection error is what I tend to find but there are radio stations that you can do using the ditto and then planners so if you wanted to adjust this stuff up here you could uh, like I said there's just a lot that they're trying to throw into this app and here you go expert so this is kind of like the catch-all area and this is the main page which is trying to get you to put art onto your ditto itself. There's, there's a lot going on with this app, but if you really wanna get all the features out of the ditto, you're gonna have to use the app at one point. In fact, if I come back the main page, which I generally use, which is the timer, weather, and calendar, you will have to connect it to your phone via the app just to make sure that the data for the weather and temperature outside are accurate because this has no internal way of knowing that. It's feeding off of the phone. So that, that was a extended look at the application. It has changed quite a bit from the other people that I've seen who have done the DVOOM Ditto uh, reviews in the past. So this appears to be the current as of 2021 app. It probably will change in the future, but this was the look at it right now and there is a lot to do within the app. Hopefully you found some part of this uh, useful. All in all, if you are looking for a nice desk game, speaker, timer, calendar thing just super versatile little toy that's not really a toy realistically I, I spend most of my day on this screen just so I know what day it is because well we're still living that pandemic life so this helps make that pandemic life a little less stressful annoying depending on where you pick up the ditto the price can vary greatly I'll have a link in the description area below where you can pick it up. It does seem that 90% of the time, if you get it directly from the manufacturer's website, it is a little cheaper than if you went somewhere else like Amazon. And realistically, if you are somebody who likes to have interesting things or conversation pieces on your desk, or you're a aspiring YouTuber or what have you, and you're looking to have that eye-catching thing on your desk while you're doing reviews, this could be something that you find useful. If you don't like the color, because I get it, it's blue, don't worry, it comes in several other colors, black, pink, white, blue, as I have here, green, and red. So there is something to match everybody's tastes. With that being said, I have been Wanderer001. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the area below. And as always, thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, consider giving it a like as that will help other people find the video as well. If you like what I'm doing here, you can always help fuel the next review by buying me a coffee, link in the description below. 
Last but not least, if you want to be notified when I upload a new video, you know what to do.